What is going on, everybody? This is Eric from Reconvert, and today I'm super excited to let you know that we released a new feature to the app called Triggers. Uh, we've been working on this feature for a long, long time, for the past few months, and you guys kept asking for it for the past year again and again and again over chat, email, and phone. So up until today, you could only display one thank you page across your entire store, no matter what, so no more. From now on, you can display different templates uh, depending on different triggers. It can be based on uh, the order information, the customer information, or the product purchased information. So let's just jump right to it. Let's say that I have a gardening and DIY store, and I want to display a different product upsell based on the product purchase, which is, by the way, the most common thing you guys have uh, been asking for. So the first thing we're going to have to do is to create a default template that's going to be display, uh, displayed in case none of the trigger is being met. So let's say that in case none of the trigger is being met, I just want to display um, you know, a general pop-up with timer telling the customer that he have, um, I don't know, 30% off for the next 20 minutes for the entire store. So let's just set it up and get to the page customizer. OK, I'm in the page builder, and right now I'm going to build uh, a pop-up with time-sensitive offer for the customer, letting him know that for the next 20 minutes, he's going to get 30% off everything. Perfect. So we have the pop-up ready, and that's what we're going to display. Customer that didn't purchase uh, a planter or a DIY product. Now, let's set up the upsell for the planters. Let's say that if someone buy any type of planter from the store, we want to display uh, a cute Balbazar upsell as a planter. Uh, let's set up a different template and call it Balbazar upsell. <laughs> All right, so the pop-up is ready, uh, and that's what we're going to display to customers that didn't purchase a planter or DIY product. Now, uh, let's set up the template for uh, whenever someone buys a planter, we're going to display a bulbas or upsell. So we're going to create a new template, and let's call it planter upsell. Now we're just going to add the upsell to the right side of the thank you page, and we're good to go. Perfect. So now we've created a template for the Balbazor upsell, and later on we're going to set it up for planters. Now let's set up another template uh, for upsell on DIY products. Let's call this template DIY upsell. And let's just add to the right side of the page another upsell uh, for the glue gun, for example.
Great, so we've created this template with the glue gun as an upsell for DIY products. Now let's get back to the dashboard and I'll show you how to set up the actual triggers. Great, so we are in the dashboard and all we need to do in order to set up the triggers is click the trigger page at the top. Uh, this is how it's gonna look like for the first time because you don't have any triggers yet. Just click the create your first trigger. Uh, and then the first thing you need to do is just to select your default template. Again, this is the one with the uh, we created with the general time-sensitive offer in case someone buys a specific product that we didn't uh, set an upsell to. Uh, so we're just going to select the template. We call it default template, and we're going to hit save. The next thing we need to do is just click the add trigger button. And now let's give the trigger a name. The first one, let's call it uh, planter upsell. And we need to select the attached template. So that was planter's upsell. And now we just, uh, the only thing left to do is to set up the trigger. Uh, we have, as you can see, there are plenty of endless opportunities here. You got customer information from customer information. You can use customer notes, emails, first name, billing address, uh, time since last order, total items bought for that customer, total revenue generated. Uh, you can select specific customers uh, and all of that. From uh, order details, you can select all the data within the order, like billing or shipping address. Uh, you can select the, the discount used, uh, the amount paid for shipping or taxes, tags. Um, um, you can use timeline comments, shipment status, uh, sh tracking number. You can use a lot of different things or specific uh, orders. So that's going to be, uh, so as you can see, the possibilities are endless. And you can select product purchase data. So that's going to take the data from the uh, products within the order. And according to that, decide what templates to display. So you can uh, select based on sales channels, type, barcode, uh, um, vendor, price, tags, title, description, everything. And you can select if you want uh, one of the products within the order or all the products within the order to fit those conditions in order to display the actual thank you page. Okay, so uh, in our example, we're just going to use product purchase data. And here we're going to uh, search for collection. And we want at least one product within the order, in this case, to be in collection planters. I'm going to hit save. And now I'm going to activate the triggers base. And we're all set up from now on. If someone purchased a planter product, is going to see the planter template with the Balbazor upsell. And if it didn't, it's just going to see the general upsell. Now let's add the second trigger that we created for the DIY collection. And we're going to call this one DIY upsell and attach the DIY upsell template. And we're going to do the same thing, product purchase data. And we're going to set it up for collection. And in case that at least one product is in collection DIY, we're going to hit save and, and we are good to go. So we have all of our triggers in place and let's run some test orders so I can show you how it works in real life. So let's head over to the store and head over to the planters collection and make a purchase from a product from this collection. And as you can see, I can see the Balbazor upsell because I purchased a product planter. Now let's see what happens when I, when I purchased a DIY product. So let's head back to the store. Head over to the DIY collection and make a purchase for one of these products.
and as you can see now the glue gun show up as we set it up to uh, for purchasing a DIY product and the next thing I want to show you is what happens if we purchase a product that didn't show up uh, in both collections so let's head over to the store again and make just purchase a random product And as you can see, because this product is not a DIY product and it's not a planter, I'm just seeing this general pop-up with time-sensitive offer as we set up in our default template. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is what happens in case someone purchased uh, one planter and one DIY product. So the way that ViewConvert works is just it has priorities. It's going to go from the top to bottom. And for the first trigger that it's going to see that is met, it's going to display that template. If it doesn't met, it's going to move on. Uh, downwards in the list and if none of the trigger has been met it's going to display the default template so in this case if I purchase one planter and one DIY product I should see the uh, planter upsell template with the Bulbasaur um, just by the way if you want to create a more complex rules you can use our and or rules for each trigger uh, and again the possibilities are really endless So I've gone ahead and added one planter and one DIY product and what I should see in the thank you page is the Bulbasaur upsell since this trigger is upper on the list of triggers. And as you can see, because the planter upsell template was up on the list of triggers, now I can see the Bulbasaur and not the glue gun uh, as we said before that. Uh, so this is how it works in terms of priority. Now there are one more thing I want to show you before we wrap up this video. We also added a template page here where you can see all the analytics for all of your templates and triggers. As you can see, we have uh, three templates. Uh, the blue one is the default and you can see all the impressions and generated orders, including conversion rates and revenue generated and the attached trigger for each one of your templates. Uh, below that, we have the planters upsell and the DIY. You can see how many impressions and generated orders we got from each one of them. You can click it to get uh, a preview of the template and you can take actions and customize it from, from here. Uh, not only that, if you go back to the dashboard, and you scroll down a little bit, we've added here uh, a list of your top performing templates. So if you have, let's say, hundreds, you can see here the top 10 in terms of performance. And if you scroll down, we've added a widget-wise uh, analytics for each of your widgets across all templates. That's it for that video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get notified whenever we go live or if we release a new video. And if you haven't already, make sure to join our Facebook group with over 1,000 active Shopify merchants helping each other with tips and tricks. And we share there a lot of discounted Shopify apps. I'll see you on the next video.